I would like to acknowledge that this video is being filmed on the traditional lands of the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. I pay my respects to their elders past and present, and extend that respect to any Aboriginal, Torres Strait Islander or First Nations people who may be watching this video today. Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is The Novelty Corner and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with some queer recommendations. They're, the majority of these are romance books but I do have some non-romance titles. I have some young adult ones, I have some sci-fi, I have some non-fiction, I have some graphic novels. It is not an exhaustive list. I am always trying to increase the breadth of my queer reading habits and I like to think I do a decent job but I also know I have a lot of work to do and this month during Pride Month you'll have seen in my TBR video that I am trying to read a lot of the things that I've had sitting on my Kindle for a very long time and I thought that I would share some of my favorites with you guys. It's going to be quite a long list so I'm not going to spend huge amounts of time going into into detail with these books but I have talked about all of these before and some of them quite recently so you should be relatively familiar with the titles. If not I will leave everything listed down below so you can go back and check that list but uh, I would get yourself a drink and settle in and I'm going to share some of my favorite queer titles. I might work my way up to the adult romance titles so the first thing that I wanted to mention these are really good for all ages and that is K. O'Neill's graphic novels. So you have Princess Princess Ever After which is a sapphic graphic novel and it is really fun about princesses who save each other and then everyone hopefully is familiar with the Tea Dragon Society which is a collection of three beautiful hardback graphic novels. The first one is the Tea Dragon Society, there is the Tea Dragon Festival and the Tea Dragon Tapestry. These feature various queer representations, they're absolutely stunning and beautiful and just the kind of books that warm your soul. So these are well worth checking out for anyone. Last year I was also introduced to Check Please which is another graphic novel series. I've only read the first volume so far. Megan had recommended this to me and I absolutely loved it and I need to get back to reading it because it's one of those ones that I just think I know I need to get back to that but it was just so wholesome and so cute and it is an MM graphic novel series. In terms of middle grade titles I really can't go past Melissa by Alex Gino. This was known as George and the author has since gone back and said no this book should have been called Melissa to begin with. It is about a trans girl who is going through middle school and then there's also Rick and anything by Alex Gino is honestly gorgeous so I would strongly recommend picking these up. Not only do they have great representation but they are also beautifully written. Right in terms of some young adult titles the one that I read most recently was The Monster of Her Age by Danielle Binks. This is a really great sapphic young adult story. Similarly Queens of Geek has fantastic queer representation. A very famous one is Two Boys Kissing by David Levithan. This is obviously an MM story but there is a lot of really cool things going on in this book. There is a an anthology Kindred 12 Queer Love Oz YA Stories. This one was edited by Michael Earp. It is Australian. It was full of amazing amazing short stories by various authors and then another anthology was Meet Me at the Intersection. This one was edited by Rebecca Lim and Anne Boleyn by Mulliner. Also in Young Adult I would recommend Gear Breakers and I totally forgot to write down the author's name. This was a sapphic science fiction young adult title and it was great. There is The Greatest Thing which is a young adult graphic novel about a group of three teens who are figuring out who they are and what their identity is. There is Felix Ever After which is an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous book. This one does feature trans rep and is just stunning. Moving into some other adult titles, Growing Up Queer in Australia. This one is edited by Benjamin Law. This is another anthology of stories but these ones are stories of people's lives. So they're, they're true stories and personal accounts. They're not very long but they are very very powerful. This Is How It Always Is by Laurie Frankel is another one that I think was recommended to me by Kathy and this is about Claude who is only five and he's the youngest of five brothers. He loves playing with them, he loves doing all of those things but he also loves dressing up in dresses and dreams of being a princess and this is about how Claude's family deals with supporting Claude through working out whether they identify as a he or a she and how that is then presented to the rest of the world and it was just poignant and heartbreaking at times, definitely bring tissues but a really really great book. In terms of sci-fi there was Winter's Orbit which I think was Everina Maxwell. I might be getting the author's first name incorrect but I'll leave a picture on the screen. This was an MM sci-fi story which was fantastic and I can't go past Becky Chambers. She just writes some of the best queer 
sci-fi out there. My favourite will always be The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet which features multiple different representations and also something like A Psalm for the Wild Built which is the first in the monk and robot series with a main character who is non-binary. All right where do we want to go to next? I suppose I would this would not be a me video if I did not mention Alexis Hall. So I think a really fantastic starting Point. And I think a lot of people start here with Alexis Hall and that is with Boyfriend Material which is an MM romance which is also a fake dating situation. It's really fun. I think if you liked Boyfriend Material but you wanted to up the steam levels I would definitely go with For Real by Alexis Hall which is still one of my all-time favourite Alexis Hall books. This is an MM age gap romance. It does feature a dom-sub relationship and it is honestly just such a good book. But of course most recently and you would have seen this in my most recent Books Beside My Bed video I read A Lady for a Duke which has become my favourite historical romance of all time and features a trans heroine who ends up reconnecting with her best friend. The whole thing was just fantastic. It also would not be a me video if I did not recommend the Green Creek series by TJ Klune. Every time I recommend a series I've got to remember to pick up a different book so this time I went with my favourite which is Heart Song which features an MM relationship but one of the heroes is Ace and their relationship is just gorgeous. These are paranormal romances, they feature a family of wolf shifters and their faded mates. If you wanted another Ace book recommendation I would go with His Quiet Agent by Ada Maria Soto. This is about two people who work in an intelligence agency who end up forming a relationship. If you're looking for books with trans rep aside from the ones that I've already mentioned there is Drag Me Up by RM Virtues which is a Hades and Persephone retelling where Persephone is a trans woman who is a performer in a Cirque du Soleil type show. You have A Lady for a Duke by Alexis Hall which I talked about just before. There is also Coffee Boy by S.A. Chant and Peter Darling by S.A. Chant as well. I'm still trying to build up my books that I've read that feature demisexual rep which is actually how I identify and so like it's important to me to find books with that representation that I'm really interested in reading but one that I read and loved was That Kind of Guy by Talia Hibbert so if you know any more recs please leave them down below. This is fantastic. The hero is demisexual, the heroine has a chronic illness for memory and it's just a really great great story. I need to reread this one. In terms of books with bisexual representation you have Take It Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert which is a really really fun read. This whole series is great and features lots of diverse characters. Rosaline Palmer Takes the Cake by Alexis Hall. You knew I would sneak another Alexis Hall book in here. Rosalind is bisexual in this book. His Leading Lady by Jenny Nordback is another really fun one. This is a celebrity romance where an actor is doing some research for a role where he is going to be playing a dom and so he ends up consulting with a dominatrix and the two begin exploring a relationship. There's is also The Intimacy Experiment by Rosie Dannon and this is the relationship between a sex education worker and a rabbi who start up a series of lectures on modern intimacy for his synagogue. There is also Zenny by Rebecca Weatherspoon which is also really fantastic and features a marriage of convenience. There are also plenty of books that I read that feature poly rela polyamorous relationships. Katie Robert writes a ton of them. My favourite being Learn My Lesson but she also has The Beast and The Sea Witch and Wicked Beauty and also her vampire series features a polyam relationship so she's really great for those. There's also Neighbourly by Katrina Jackson which features two couples who live next door to each other and the wives become involved with each other. You have The Witch's Wolves by Ellie Mae McGregor which is a paranormal romance polyam situation between two werewolves and a witch. There is All She Wants for Christmas by Andy J Christopher which is a really short Christmas novella and also Three of Hearts by Lillian Lark which is part of the Bathhouse universe. I'm still going. <laughs> In terms of sapphic representation and this is another area where I'm trying to find a lot more recommendations. I'm finding a lot of novellas so I'm also on the lookout for full-length novels. There is Double Breasted by Evie Mitchell. There is Mangles and Mistletoe by Adriana Herrera. Hairpin Curves by Elia Winters which I read this year which and I really love. The Lady's Guide to Celestial Mechanics by Olivia Waite which is a historical romance and is just gorgeous. That was my introduction to Olivia Waite and I loved it. There is Little Taste of Need by Cleo Evans which is another paranormal monster romance. This one is between a human woman and a Naga princess. I forgot one. There is Witching Moon by Poppy Woods which is a sapphic paranormal with witches. And also The Masked Minotaur by Chase Verity. And I think somehow we've come to the end, nearly to the end of my crazy list and that is with my, my last one which is a sort of a bonkers queer story and that is the Relic series. I, I couldn't not recommend this series in this video. So these are MM Dinosaur Shifter romances. They're short and they're really fun. All right so that is my list of queer wrecks for now. I'm hoping that by the end of this month I will have recommended so many more. I've already started reading some this month. I'm so excited to get the, to the rest of them and also to see what other people are reading so that I can add them to my TBR. I'm finding heaps of really amazing wrecks on Instagram as well which is 
fantastic. So keep the recs coming because I want to read more. In the comments, I would love to know what your favorite queer book recommendations are. They don't have to be romance. I do read outside of romance in terms of finding queer titles. So please let me know. Otherwise, I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're staying safe and healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.